Well, hello there. Welcome to Sid's Little Corner of the Internet. We have another Transformers review coming your way. This one is a little bit different than the typical though. This time around we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers RED, or R-E-D, Robot Enhanced Design, non-converting figure. So this time around it's going to be Megatron that we're taking a look at. And like we always do here, we'll take a look at that packaging. So we'll move Megs out of the way. We'll bring that packaging in, give you a close-up on that. So right there at the top, you do have that red, the robot enhanced design. You have some Megatron artwork right there, Transformers Megatron. It does tell you right there that it's a non-converting figure. And on the side, this is an open window where it should, uh, you will display all the accessories or all the accessories are displayed in the package. And on the back here, you have your product shots. So red up the side. Megatron and these are some of the product shots for the accessories that he comes with It does want to make very clear on the packaging. The figure does not convert I think we got it. Thank you, but we do as always have that sad baby and that makes me happy And right there you have some pretty good artwork of Megatron looking all angry like maybe he's slightly constipated And up here at the top you have the Transformers logo and at the bottom you have manufacturing information and that's it for the outside of the packaging. So we'll take a look at what came in that packaging. And this time around, it really wasn't a whole lot. You have this insert, which is pretty cool. Kind of gives that old school schematic kind of look. And if you look closely on there, it does show the accessories, a few of them that he comes with. And it's good to know it is recyclable. So there you go, there's that insert. You do also get your little page of warnings but this time guys all right it was folded up that's exciting not really and then he does come with an entire slew of accessories that we will get into here we'll take a look at so because he's a non-converting figure they tried to add a little bit of value here with the accessories that come with him primarily a whole bunch of hands so you have to start with a right fist so that's all clenched, and oddly enough, he already came with a right fist. And I don't see the difference between these two, but cool, I guess I have a backup. So it's, you know, I've got that going for me, which is nice. Then you have the open palm left hand. So good detailing on these. Look really nice. Then you get the left pointer finger. So if he needs to give somebody directions or, I don't know, try to poke somebody in the eye, he can do it. And then you get the left hand with the Energon cube that he's holding. Very cool. So uh, if you hold it this way, he can palm it like a basketball so it doesn't even come off. And then lastly, you get the Energon Mace. And this is, per the product shots, it was plugged into his right hand, but you can plug it into either one. So it's pretty cool, and it's a, it's not pliable, so it's, it's a softer plastic, but it does stay relatively rigid. You can get a little bit out of it, but not a lot. All right, so that's it for the accessories. Now let's go ahead and bring Megatron in for his close-up and see those details. So he does have a good face sculpt there. He does have those beady red eyes. And then he has that Decepticon logo there on the chest. Got his Darth Vader buttons down there in his belly. And I think they were going for a just kind of a plain G1 cartoony look here because he doesn't have a lot of molded in detail. Uh, but the plastic itself, he's very solid, and he has some heft to him. So uh, it's a good quality feel. I'll give them that. Now, he does have some detail on the insides of the legs. Just nothing on the outside or the front right over here, and he's just got that one line going up right there to simulate that G1 gun, the pistol grip. And then there's the arms. 
And because this is a non-converting figure, they can get the details all the way around to make them as cartoon accurate as possible. So here on the back, you have good head detail and some detail there in the back and no hollow areas, which is nice. And there you have his fusion cannon. Now there are some molding imperfections just from the plastic flow during the injection molding process. You know, it, it, it takes away a little bit visually, but with the amount of plastic that you're injecting into a mold for this guy, I mean, it's a considerable amount. So you, you kind of have to, you know, the pick the lesser of two evils. So you want to get a complete mold, so you're going to get some flow lines. And I guess I can forgive that. Now, my Fusion Cannon is slightly crooked. It's not real bad, but it does have a little bit of a bow to it. And I, again, I think this was just from the molding process. When this uh, cooled, it didn't cool in the mold long enough. And as it came out, there was a little bit of shrinkage, which caused a little bit of my curve there. But it's not bad. And when you're looking at it, you know, say, like, at an angle like that or something, it's not too noticeable. But yeah, so overall, you know, the, the looks of this guy is... It's pretty good. And like I say, he has a hefty feel. He's heavier than some Voyager class Transformers. So he's just solid through and through. Now I will say the kind of a bummer, this is me being nitpicky, is you just have right there in the fusion cannon on both sides and on the top of the pistol barrel, it's just filled in. You know, there's no cavity there. There's nothing to give it any sense of depth. There's a little bit there, maybe a couple of millimeters, but not enough to make it look better, if you will. Now, for articulation, this guy's pretty well articulated. I mean, he, he I guess I'll just get into it and show you. I've seen better articulation in actual Transformers, but he can do a few things that I haven't seen in some of the other uh, regular converting figures. So, for articulation, his head, he has a good amount of side to side, not much up, and a little bit down. And for the shoulders, you can come up that far, and they are nicely filled in right there so you don't have any hollow areas. And you can go all the way around for the shoulder. For the elbows, you get maybe a degree over 90, so maybe 91 degrees of motion there. And the bicep swivel, you can go all the way around. So this is the part that I think he has the advantage over a lot of converting transformers is here in the hands. So not only are the hands, of course, interchangeable, which will demonstrate but you get a wide range of motion. So you get that, that wrist swivel and then you get some rotation in there as well because you have that joint. So you can get some good posability out of these hands, which lends to the fun factor. Now, I wanna show you something else, which is really cool. This little man comes with an ab crunch. So it's actually a two position ab crunch. You have one and you have two. So showing it from the side, you can get him there or there. Now that's pretty cool. And even back here, for the most part, it's filled in, so no hollow areas. So yeah, you can get some really cool, you know, if you wanted to, uh, hey, what are, you, what, are you, what are you doing under there? What's going on? Maybe some of that action going on. So he does have that ab crunch and he does have a waist rotation. And these hip skirts, can come out of the way as well to allow for the splits. Now, he doesn't do the best splits in the world. So he gets about right there. And that, that's a little disappointing, but it's still enough to get him in some good poses. And the legs will kick forward that far, which is meager. But they'll kick back a little bit further. So again, same thing here. If you're looking for some poses, you know, you can get him in some pretty decent, you know, it's not that bad. Right there, he looks like he's doing some kind of a crazy dance move. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, uh, he does get thigh rotation and he gets right at 90 at the knee. And for the feet, you do get a little bit down, a little bit up and a little bit of ankle tilt. So, Nothing major, but enough to get him into some okay poses. Now, let's talk about the hands and what you can do with those. So, let's go ahead and start with 
right fist, since I'll just show you the two different fists, it's simply a matter of grabbing the fist and getting a satisfying little pop as it comes out. And then you can just put the next fist in. So this was the, this is the one I just took out. This is the one I'm gonna put in. And uh, you can see that there's, they're relatively indistinguishable. So at this point, you know, just pick one and shove it in until it pops into place. And then there you go. You have another fist in there. All right, so everything else other than the Energon Mace, which I'll save, everything else is happening on this left hand. So grab that left hand, pop that out, and let's just give him that open palm so he looks like he's, uh, you know, saying, oh, I don't know, I didn't do it. It's, uh, it's not me. It was uh, somebody else. And same thing, you know, you have good range of motion here. You get a little bit of a wrist swivel, and you get the rotation. So you get a little bit there, and then you go all the way around. And then we'll stick on the pointy finger. And uh, then he's like, oh yeah, you, uh, you're looking for, uh, looking for the highway? The highway's right over there. Uh, but then be careful, because you gotta look up, because there might be some power lines. All right? And he can almost, 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 Pick his own nose. So for those of you looking for a Megatron that can pick his nose, he's almost your guy. Ooh, where are you going? I will say this though, he is stable. He's got some big old feet and he's got enough weight down here that he is stable. So, you know, you can get him in quite a bit of crazy action here before he actually falls over. So let's take that one out and we'll put in the Energon hand. So then you can get him in a Nice, I love my inner John. Give him, make him talk like Mr. Krabs. Ooh, money, money, money. Do some of that action. And like I said, he can palm it. It's like, oh, why don't, why don't this come off my hand? Ugh. It's like Clark Griswold with the uh, maple syrup after, or the uh, pine, it's not syrup. <laughs> the, the, uh, the sap, not syrup. The pine sap after he cut the tree down in Christmas vacation. Anyway, <laughs> all right, enough of that. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to put his open palm hand back in there, and we'll pop this right hand out, and we'll give him the Energon Mace over here. And there you go. It's just that easy. So you can, I mean, if you want to double up on the Energon, I guess we could do that too. He's got an Energon Mace. He's got an Energon Cube. It's got all kinds of uh, amazing Energon action happening. So there you go. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's a non-converting figure. But he comes with some some cool accessories, and uh, I think there's a good amount of play that you can have here. So let's move all these accessories out of the way. I'll put some regular hands on him, and then I'll give you some comparisons, just so you have a sense of size. And then we can wrap that up. These go a little bit faster when I don't have to transform anybody. All right, so let's see. Let's give him a, an almost fist left hand, and give him a regular fist right hand. Stand him up nice and tall. And we're going to jump around some universes here just because I wanted to uh, showcase him against some other, since he's a non-converting figure, you know, why not showcase him against some other just regular old action figures. So I'll move him over here. And the first one we'll bring in is the Star Wars Bounty Hunter. I believe it's IG-88, the Star Wars Black Series. This guy is nowhere near as stable as Megatron. I mean, I kind of feel like I could just poke him and he'll fall over. He's just got those tiny little feet down there. All right, so there he is next to the Bounty Hunter. Send him off to the side. And let's bring in another robot. Stand him next to a Terminator. You see how those two guys look together. And we'll move Arnie out of the way. And... Let's bring in, just for fun, bring in Master Chief. Like I said, we're jumping all over some universes, guys, so hang on. So there is the red Megatron next to Master Chief from the Halo universe. All right, so let's get into some more legitimate 
uh, comparisons. I'm just going to use this as an excuse to bring out some Megatrons that sit on my shelf. So, first one we'll do... I'm going to have to adjust the camera. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do the old tilt back because these first few guys are pretty tall. So, first one... Whoa, whoa, background. Easy. First one we'll do is Masterpiece Movie Megatron. And let me lean this camera back so you can see how they look together. All right, so yeah, pretty significant size difference there. And set that gently back down. And we'll move old Big and Ugly out of the way. We'll bring in another Big and Ugly. We'll bring in the Unique Toys Dragoon, AKA the Last Night Megatron, which one of these days I have to get around to doing a review uh, an official review on this guy. Sid did an unboxing of him, but I need to do the actual review with transformation because this guy is some crazy black magic voodoo transformation. I absolutely love that figure. All right, let's move Dragoon on out of the way. And now we'll get into some... I'm going to save a couple for last that I think are most similar. So now we're getting into some that actually fit into the frame here. So... We'll bring in one of my favorite mainline transformer, uh, mainline Megatron transformers. That's the Combiner Wars Megatron. See how he stacks up next to that. And then we will move him on out of the way. And what we'll do now is we'll bring in Megatron from Titan's Return. So the Megatron Headmaster with Doomshot. And now I can bring those guys in a little bit closer so you can get a better look at them. See how those two look together. And next, we'll bring in Transformers Prime Megatron, just because I enjoy him as well. All right. Next, we will bring in the Siege Megatron. Sorry, I had to think about which one I wanted to do in what order. So we'll bring in the Siege Megatron from the War for Cybertron. See how those guys look together. I think at this point I'm probably just going to uh, maybe set him off to the side there. And next one we'll bring in is uh, Mr. Delicate himself. He's just a delicate, malevolent little flower. And that is my G1 Megatron. So he's, uh, he's a little rickety. Just uh, loose joints and all that stuff. The fact that, you know, he's and is, what, 37 years old? Oh, did you see that? He tried to fall just by me looking at him. So you can see the definite inspiration here, uh, especially with the Fusion Cannon, where all that came from. And I'll move him on out of the way, and then I'm going to have to do another backup here. Stay. Stay, you delicate little flower. All right. And last comparison, guys, is... Masterpiece Megatron MP36, so I'm going to have to back him up as well. Put those two side by side. And then I will give you a little bit of camera tilt there. So there you go. That is the Transformers Red Megatron against, I don't know, how many Megatrons did I show? Six or seven different Megatrons I have in the collection. But yeah, you can definitely see the... MP36 it does a great job of capturing that G1 look. This guy just does it at a fraction of the price, but he doesn't convert. So, you know, take that for what it is. All right, so now we'll clean these guys up, and I'll give you some final thoughts on the Transformers Red Megatron. All right, so my final thoughts on the Transformers Robot Enhanced Design Megatron. This is a non-converting Transformer figure. This is basically just any other action figure just with the Transformers brand and for me it works I didn't know how I would feel about it you know Transformers their hallmark is literally transforming into a truck a plane you know and back to robot right and this is nothing but a action figure but he has a good solid feel I think the quality is there. I think you get a decent amount of accessories. 
I'm a little iffy about the price point. These are right at $20 US. I don't know if they're worth $20. I think I would have been more apt to be excited if they were, say, you know, $15 or even $17 US dollars. But $20 just feels a little stiff or a little steep, I guess, for me. Made me a little more hesitant to pull the trigger. But I think that this is a nice outing. This, this is a nice display piece, and I think it captures the essence of Megatron really well. So I would say with that, you know, if you're so inclined and you do collect action figures and that's kind of your thing or you're just a huge Transformers fan, then I don't think you're going to be disappointed by this. Uh, most people don't spend all day long converting their Transformers from robot to their alt mode and back again. I mean, it may happen once or twice a month or you know, uh, whenever you want to show it off to somebody or change your display up. So I guess that you're really not losing a lot because most people do display them in their robot mode. So with that, I give a tepid seal of approval on this. Um, I'm not incredibly excited by the red figures, but I think that they're f fairly well done. And I, w I will enjoy having them on my shelf. I do miss the opportunity for conversion, but it's not like I'm short on Megatrons. So anytime I want to convert a Megatron, I think I have one handy. But with that, that'll wrap up the review. And I'll say, guys, you know, again, these these are just my opinions. They're not a statement of fact, and you are free to make whatever choice you want to make and add whatever you want to your collection. All I can do is give you my opinions. And yeah, if you like action figures pick this guy up. And with that, we'll wrap it up, guys, and just say thanks for watching. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to uh, hit that like button and subscribe. We're on YouTube. We're on Rumble. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitch. Uh, so we're trying to expand our reach there and try to bring in, trying to bring you guys a few different things uh, that you might see out there that you might have some interest in. So be sure to leave us some comments, provide us some feedback, let us know what we could be doing to make the channel better. Let us know what you guys want to see. I'm always open to, uh, you know, bringing in some new reviews and and uh, spreading the gospel on anything Transformers or action figure related. So with that, I'll wrap it up. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. It really does mean a lot to, to me and to Sid to see this channel grow. So uh, thank you very much for your participation in the channel and thanks for tuning in and We'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.